Hey guys, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and it's time to review the Cadence theme. So, if you guys haven't heard of Cadence, uh, they're starting to make a lot of noise now. Um, if we want to go over the popular free, like free um, do it yourselfer themes, we have what? Previously, it was Astra, it was Ocean WP, Generate Press. You know, those were probably the big three, and my favorite out of them was really Generic Press. Uh, I well, wouldn't even consider Astra, and definitely I just don't like Ocean WP. Um, but now, there's Cadence WP. So, who are these guys? What are they all about? Um, so, the first thing I like is that they're in the U.S., right? They're in, the, they're in America, Montana. So... Um, and also with their styling and their overall branding and their vibe, it feels kind of like a one-man show. Um, and I'm actually in talks with the developer right now. I just, you know, maybe because he's being, um, he's not putting his name in his face here. So, okay, I won't say his name, but it's kind of like Generate Press, but uh, Generate Press is made in Canada. Um, Cadence is made in the US, okay? So generally, I like American developers. I, I just think they're usually higher, like higher quality grade. Um, they're just more selective in what they do. They're not trying to copy every kind of feature and every kind of thing out there. They know how to niche pretty well, and they know how to pick and choose um, what they like working with, and then they focus on only that, right? They're not chasing every uh, big money WordPress idea out there, okay? Now about Cadence, like uh, what's, what has made the Cadence theme popular? So the first couple things about it is I think it's pretty clean. Um, I like their built-in demos. So let's just pop a few of these open right now. And here we go. So and they have like freed and, and paid versions. So the free theme is actually pretty cool. It's pretty good. Um, and then if you if you get the paid version, then you get all the little options. And don't worry, um, I have the theme, so we'll look at the back end. But you know, this is something like that, and I liked it. You know, and and by the way, just for the hell of it, uh, I also I also used the Cadence theme on. I, oh yeah, it was a it was a form of this one. It was basically a version of this theme. I like this one the most. It's very clean. And I use this for my, uh, my sister-in-law's bakery business. Okay, so she shut it down. Um, she was trying not to have orders during, uh, during the lockdown time. So t she took out all, down all the photos. Oh, okay. Well, she left some photos up here. And so I used it to build uh, her site. And where's the Instagram page? All right, we can't find... All right, well, she took it down. Anyways, uh, let's go to the back end and let's just kind of poke around. So um, here I am in the back end and let's go here. This is my little test site. Okay. Oh, okay. There it is. So I'll just give you a, a quick run through of the features just so you know, you guys know what to expect. Right. So this is going to be, uh, you know, very close somewhat to like uh, other other do it yourself or themes where you just kind of build things uh, the way you want, lay it out, space it however you like. I like his design. I like his little, you know, customized design. It's clean. Look at the color palettes, you know, so I, I appreciate that. I like it. Um, border radius and all that. Let's see what, what happens if I, oh, I see that's for buttons only. Okay, typography, and I can choose whatever the heck I want. Um, okay, then we can choose. Okay, so that, that's all the Google font stuff. And what happens if I pick that? Okay, I see what's going on. All right, and then you pick the header, what kind of header style you want. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's very easy to use. These are some all the different options. So it, it's pretty standard stuff. Like, I think now all themes, you know, you can go through the customizer and you can do stuff. Um, some themes, they will have, uh, you have to go to like in, inside appearance, you go to like their special theme menu thing. 
and then they have like a different section in here okay all right this is cool wait uh it's gonna take me to the customize <laughs> so yeah okay transparent header all right what happens if i okay well I, I guess i'm not using the the right i guess i'm not using the the right design right now to to make use of that just gonna go away and let's go back in here branding transparent header sticky header so i i, I won't i won't mess around with this so bottom line what you guys want to know is is it coded well? Yes, it's coded well. I think the coding is definitely better than Astro WP, that's for sure. Um, is it fast? How's the performance? Yeah, it's a very lightweight theme. So let me just pop this into my incognito window and let's just let's just do a, a quick script count. Just to see. And JS. Now some of these might be coming from my plugins, right? That's WooCommerce, WooCommerce, WooCommerce. And yeah, who's this guy? That's Cadence Navigation. Yeah, they're this small. I mean, I, I already know these are small. Some of these are core, uh, core uh, WordPress JS. Oh, and my computer's starting to crawl. It does this every time when I'm recording. <laughs> So, I know what you guys are wondering, how's the coding, is it fast? Yes, it's fast, it's minimal, it's lightweight, like every other, you know, like every other theme, um, minimal theme out there. Um, I think it has just a nice amount of options that you can mostly do whatever the heck you want, come up with whatever idea you want, and then I like the built-in themes. It was pretty simple and very clean, as a, like a, that very classy, uh, like American cat, business casual hipster style. That, that's how I would um, describe their theme style. And I like that it's that his theme designs aren't so like crazy generic, right? So there are a lot of other themes out there. If you go on Theme Forest now, um, all their designs look extremely generic. Okay. Um, now, some of you are gonna ask me, is it better than Generate Press, blah, blah, blah. Like for me, the free, the best free do-it-yourself theme is Generate Press. Um, I also think Generate Press is built a little better for developer grade stuff. So if you like to mess around with hooks and filters, uh, just developer stuff, okay? I, I think Generate Press or Genesis would be better for that. Um, Cadence is definitely more for like end users only. Um, and yeah, anyways, it's good. It's free. Check it out. It's, uh, I think it's, you know, I think if you like the built in designs, then why not? Uh, you know, pick up a copy. And if you want to just use a free version, use a free version and see how far you get with it. I think the, the customizer and everything is pretty nice. But yes, it's safe. Uh, it's a safe theme to use, a safe little uh, starter theme or do-it-yourself theme to use. And uh, it, get, you know, it gets a thumbs up from me. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. This thing finally loaded, huh? Yeah, let's see the built-in CSS. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Some of these are from the plugins. That's that's super annoying. And cadence content. You know, and um, I've used the cadence blocks, and those were great too. So just works totally fine. Kind of like generate blocks, but just has a few more options. Um, but yeah, I like cadence. I think it's nice. It's totally fine. If you like it, get it. And that's it. See you guys next time.